So next year, team announcements are signed for Ineos, and luckily for us, he's uploaded all of his power layer from the 11-day training camp that they had in Mallorca for Ineos. So we're going to go through each of the days, just roughly what they did, but generally the setup is three days on, one day off. First day is normally the hardest day of intervals, which makes sense, then sort of more tight tempo-based intervals, and then an endurance ride. It's not always like that, but that's kind of the way most pros work, and this is also kind of how the, the Ineos camp works as well. So we'll, we'll start off with day one here. Four hours, very easy. Like if we put his threshold at 425, which is what Strava says it is, that's like a recovery ride, like 54% for four hours. So super easy, first day out, not really surprising, um, you know, had a travel day and all the rest of it. So that's the first day. Second day, 280 normalized for four hours. So decent day out um, and we've got some efforts. So um, today was the first day of effort. So you can see the first ones are done on the flat. These are like some over under stuff. So it's like four minutes at 3.30 ish. Um, and then there'll be like a 45 second surge at 440 watts. So these are quite classic tempo spikes. The durations can change. Sometimes it's 2.15, sometimes it's like uh, four minutes, uh, 4.15 or uh, like Ineos ones. But anyway, you can see then he has like minimal time off. I think about six minutes off in between them. Uh, and then cracks them out again. Um, actually, no, this is just one block, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, just cracks them out, basically. If you look at it totally, it's like 37 minutes at 318 watts. Um, but when he's doing the efforts, it's more like 350 watts um, on the flat as well. So maybe, so pretty impressive. Anyway, then they sort of cruise for an hour or so and then do some more efforts. And again, these are more tempo spikes as well. You can see here, this effort is 22 minutes long with an average power of 343 watts. So again, kind of just tempo but like the spikes are enough to create lactate so um you can clear it uh, which is basically the idea of tempo spikes instead of just doing that steady sweet spot which people reckon might not be as effective day three uh is just four hours almost five hours just just zone two um you can see here again zone two pretty chill 55 percent, so not too hard at all um obviously his threshold might not be 425 at the moment just because it's off season um day four rest day 160 normalized, hour, nothing else to add. Next day, it's day five. So this one actually is um, another classic Ineos intervals. You've probably seen Bernal do them. And they're like a 20 minute effort normally with like 20 second max sprints on them. But in between, they're not like zone two. Well, they're like upper zone two, zone three, maybe. So that's how I'd say if you want to copy any of these intervals, I always try and get it into a sort of like more manageable see what you do so you can see before actually kind of riding at like 260 watts and then starts doing the sprints for like 20 seconds um we can have a third beat 20 seconds in a minute um and then does the same on this climb and the same one uh, and then the last climb i think is just a steady steady climb as well well not yeah pretty steady like forwards per kilo so pretty chill for these boys um and if we look at the 20 second sprint you can see here 20 second sprint is like 800 watts was his best um so yeah and you can see a 471 watts for for uh for two minutes i think this is probably just some effort they did it's not really part of the training that much so anyway that's the the first uh effort day after the rest day so the harder one uh and then we go to the next one and i'm pretty sure these are team time trial drills the first one is a time trial effort again pretty steady state 340 watts so just kind of tempo sweet spot 38 minutes off and then does this 15 minute effort. This looks like a team time trial effort because it's very not smooth, but they're going 46k an hour. It is downhill, but even so, I think probably that. And then this bit here as well looks like a team time trial effort, uh, potentially, or maybe some moat pacing. I'm not sure, but it does look very spiky, but quite hard. So that, those would be my two thoughts. But anyway, not as hard of a day right, in terms of the intervals. Uh, then the next bit uh, is just six hours easy. So you, again, you can see as a percentage of his threshold, very low. Um, okay, he went like mildly hard on a climb, but like 4.4 watts per kilo is not that hard for these boys. So again, uh, pretty standard six hours. Then we have a rest day, slightly harder, 173 normalized. But again, there's not much to add here, really. It is what it is. It's a rest day ride. They're pretty chill. Um, then we have day nine. This is the only time it really it varies. He actually does no efforts on the first day. So after the rest day, you can see just really easy. Um, again, like peak 20 minutes is like 4.1, which is like, again, not very much at all. So yeah, just a steady six hours, get it done. Uh, standard day out. Then the next day uh, is actually quite a hard day again. So we've got 20 minutes. Um, it's kind of like 350-ish. So again, like sweet spot tempo. 
So that's what you can see, but that's just a steady effort. Um, and what you'll notice is that this is the day Pickle got a con, but he doesn't do any cadence stuff. So I think the cadence stuff is very individual. And I think it depends on the kind of rider. I think the more punchy they are, they like to do the lower cadence to try and get uh, you to use more fast switch muscle fibers and fatigue them preferentially. I think when you've got someone like Timo Aronsman who's not that punchy, you kind of don't need to do it necessarily as much. Uh, it seems that's my understanding from what Ineos seemed to do, but it could just be that he's got knee issues and didn't want to do it. Um, anyway, this one is some the first kind of over-unders. Again, half an hour at 3.50, so five loss per kilo, so it's you know getting a bit more serious. Um, and you can see they're two minutes on at like 4.60, and then two minutes off at 300. Um, and that's repeated like five times, I believe. Uh, and then beforehand, he was just riding mildly hard. Yeah, so like 22 minutes of effort. Then he goes up Sakalopa again. That's more steady, like four and a half loss per kilo. So I guess kind of just like a bit pressy, but nothing, nothing mental. Um, and then, yeah, just descend. So a decent day out. And I guess done on a second day, maybe just to have more fatigue. Maybe it was the weather. I don't really know. But anyway, kind of rogue. And then the last day, a slightly shorter day, three hours. Um, and you'll see that this again has a lot of over under efforts. So you can see here two minutes on 450, two minutes off 300. And that's repeated. Um, for a little bit longer, I think this time, uh, if we go all the way, uh, it's yeah about 22 minutes ish. You can see they start on the under instead of the over, which is kind of rogue. I always thought you normally start on the under, but uh, the over. But anyway, I'm not sure it's a massive difference. And then you, again, you can see this interval block as well, three minutes fifty, and then we have three minutes. Oh no, actually, we're missing that. So so we have three minutes. So a 10 second surge at 750. Three minutes 50, 400, 630, 400. And that again is kind of like um, over unders, but just really like massive, massive over. Uh, and then again, just tempo spikes, but just instead of doing a 40 second, it's 10 seconds. I mean, it's all the same stuff. But anyway, I hope you found this video interesting. I guess the main takeaways for this are like early season, what do Ineos do? Just mainly tempo. They don't do too much steady state tempo, a little bit, but mainly um, over unders. And they like the three day on, one day off, and generally the hardest day of the intervals is on the first day. So anyway, cheers for watching, hope you did enjoy, I'll see you in the next one.